I'm here today to, uh, I'm an Air Force veteran as well, and I'm here to acknowledge kinship with Aaron and kind of be a part of the communal grief, expression of grief, and to hold his act, you know, as difficult as it is, just to kind of hold it and sit with it. I think it's in a room of steel, and I'm, it pains me to say that because on one hand, it's like so many people are dying. It shouldn't take just one white man to die here for people to care about so many other people dying somewhere else, you know? Um, that being said, I do think, I hope, my God, I hope it'll have an effect. I do think it's significant. Oh, yeah. I think like a common misconception in America is that a lot of people join the military because they believe in like the government, the American government, American ideals in that like very finite way. And in my experience, that simply is not the case. Most of the people I joined with and, and me, myself, are, are joining to get out of terrible economic situations. It's a lot of poor people who can't pay for health care, can't pay for housing, maybe they have an ill family member, can't pay for college. And uh, it's kind of propagandized to be this like escape from that while they're telling you you're doing a good guy's job, right? They're telling you that you're doing the morally correct thing. Um, and, and that's why I think a lot of people get out and have such a large moral wound, moral injury. And that's really where a lot of people's PTSD comes from, is not the fact that they saw terrible things happen to people, it's that they knew they were a part of terrible things happening to people in a way that they did not sign up to.